Paulina Chin of MapleSoft. In this webinar, I'm going to talk about a very common mistake that users make when plotting with procedures. So first, I'm going to talk about the right way of plotting procedures. There are two common calling sequences um, for the plot command, uh, which we'll call the expression form and the procedure form. You can see them here on the plot details help page. So this first one is what we call the expression form. Uh, the second one is the procedure form, and I'll talk about these in more detail. In this first example, we use the expression form. So notice that the first argument is an expression in a variable such as x here, and the second argument is the variable name x equals the range over which we want to plot the function. So in this next example, we're plotting the exact same function, but this time it's specified as a procedure here. In this uh, alternative calling sequence, the first argument is a procedure, and the second is the plotting range. So notice here there is no variable x explicitly given. The plotting variable is assumed to be the single parameter of the procedure, which doesn't have to be x, it can be t or any other variable. So these two examples here show how the two different calling sequences can be used to create the same plot. Okay, now let's look at the wrong way to plot procedures. Sometimes Maple users try to combine the expression and procedure form by doing the following. Here, uh, we put in f of x to generate an expression and then we use the expression form here. This does give the expected result. This is the plot we want. And the reason it gives the correct result is that f of x evaluates to x times sine x, which is the function we want plotted. However, this is not a good idea to, um, to use this approach, and I'll show you why in the next examples. So how can things go wrong? Here's a slightly more complicated example. This procedure g implements a function that is minus x for negative values of x and x squared for positive values, and it uses an if-else construct to do so. Now, if you try to plot g of x, you're going to get an error, and that's because it's g of x itself that produces the error. What's actually happening is that g is being called with the name x, not with a numerical value. And so this inequality fails, and we get the error. So this error occurs before we even enter the plot command. However, if you use the procedure form as we described above, then you get the desired plot with minus x on one side and x squared on the other. In this next example, we'll replace the inequality with a call to type. And if you try to plot this function, you'll see that you get the wrong answer <clears throat> for negative values of x. Again, this is because h of x is evaluated before the plot command actually gets called. And if you evaluate h of x, you get x squared. Now, why does this happen? It's because x, again, is the name x, not a number. And so this type call fails because the name x is not of type negative, and so it returns x squared. 
Again, if we use the procedure form of the calling sequence, we get the desired plot. But here, this situation is, is worse than the first situation here because in this case, with G of X, you get an error. It tells you that something went wrong and you can fix it. Um, here, the procedure actually evaluates correctly. You don't get an error. Uh, you don't get an error message from Maple, but you get a wrong plot. So for more complicated examples with, with more subtle differences, it's really difficult to tell when something has gone wrong. Now, one trick that more advanced users might know about is, is using unaval quotes. You can put single quotes around h of x to delay evaluation. I don't recommend that you go this route unless you have a good understanding of Maple's evaluation rules. So the take home message is that when you want to plot uh, a procedure, just use the procedure form. That's the easiest thing to remember. And if you use the procedure form, you will always get the plot that you um, are expecting.